What if the most powerful part of an electric car just stopped obeying physics? Tesla's new carbon-wrapped electric motor is more than just a tweak, it's a fundamental shift. It's lighter, faster, cooler, and stronger, and it might just destroy the EV competition. So is this actually Elon Musk's biggest breakthrough yet? And if it is, how long until everyone else is forced to catch up? For decades, the evolution of electric motors followed a pretty predictable path. Incremental upgrades, minor efficiency gains, and a new tweak here and there. Engineers would shave off a few grams, cool things a bit better, and make the motor slightly faster or more durable. Stuff like that. But nothing truly groundbreaking until now. In 2021, Tesla unveiled the Plaid Model S, and tucked inside was something that sent shockwaves through the automotive and engineering worlds a carbon-wrapped electric motor rotor. At first glance, it was like another fancy upgrade, carbon fiber, whatever. But as the details emerged, it became clear that this wasn't just an improvement. This was an engineering anomaly. Wrapped in carbon fiber under intense pressure, this rotor could spin at insanely high revolutions per minute without flying apart. Normal rotors expand due to centrifugal forces, which forces engineers to leave small gaps between the rotor and stator, meaning lost efficiency. But Tesla's innovation meant tighter coil tolerances, near-perfect magnetic alignment, and zero wasted motion. And the result? Higher RPMs, lighter weight, lower heat, and no catastrophic failure. In Elon Musk's own words, he said, it's a motor that shouldn't exist, but it does. These carbon sleeve motors are incredibly hard to manufacture, especially consistently and at scale, but Tesla managed to pull it off. The tighter coil gaps translate to a more intense magnetic field interaction, which just means there's more torque, faster acceleration, and less energy loss. You get more speed, more efficiency, and longer range all in one package. And because the carbon wrap contains the expansion so effectively, the motor doesn't overheat like its predecessors. That means you can push it harder, for longer, without frying the components. No overheating, no exploding, and most importantly, no compromises. In essence, Tesla didn't just build a better motor. It redefined what a motor could be and may have just broken the limits of conventional EV design. And to understand just how wild Tesla's carbon-wrapped rotor is, let's back up and look at how most electric motors work. Imagine a traditional rotor as the spinning core of a blender. As it spins faster, it gets hotter and expands outward. To prevent it from crashing into its surroundings, engineers design a buffer zone, a little air gap that allows for expansion. It works, but not very efficiently. Now picture this, instead of leaving that safety buffer, what if you could lock the rotor in place with space-age duct tape, the kind that doesn't melt, stretch, or loosen even at thousands of revolutions per minute? Well, that's exactly what Tesla did. But not with actual duct tape, obviously, but with precision-wound carbon fiber sleeves compressed at extreme tension. Needless to say, this carbon wrap is a total game changer. It preloads the motor, meaning the expansion is counteracted before it even begins. The motor can spin faster, I mean like crazy fast, without shaking itself to pieces. And because the gap between the rotor and stator can now be smaller, the magnetic fields inside the motor are more tightly aligned. That means stronger torque, better acceleration, and less energy wasted. And when it comes to electric motor design, tighter gaps are everything. And Tesla figured out how to have those tight gaps without the usual risks. And here's where it gets even more impressive. Balancing the carbon tension across a spinning cylinder is crazy difficult. Too tight and it cracks. Too loose and it fails at speed. Tesla's engineers had to perfect this tension, like tuning a guitar string wrapped around a rocket engine. And then they scaled it. I mean, building one of these is super impressive. Building thousands that perform identically, that's a manufacturing miracle. It's precise, it's elegant, tough. And it's not just built for concept cars, but for mass production. So what happens when you stuff this carbon-wrapped beast of a motor into a Tesla? You get a car that doesn't just move, the thing launches. The Plaid Model S, equipped with this new motor, goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 2 seconds. That's not just sports car fast, that's your brain can't even keep up fast. Most roller coasters aren't even that quick off the line. This motor is also freakishly efficient. While other EVs in the performance category drain their batteries like nothing, Tesla's Plaid uses less energy per mile than any other car in its class. 
The tighter coil gaffs and improved magnetic efficiency mean less energy is lost as heat and more is converted directly into motion. That translates to longer range even when you're flooring it. And speaking of heat, Tesla didn't just stop at making the motor faster, they made it cooler too, literally. With the motor running more efficiently and the new thermal management system in place, it can handle full throttle, high RPM runs without overheating. And that's a pretty big deal, because in many high-performance EVs, thermal throttling kicks in quickly, cutting power to prevent damage. But not here. The Plaid can keep pulling at top speed longer and harder than anything else on the road. In real-world driving, that means instant acceleration, not just once, but again and again. You're not losing power halfway through your drive or during back-to-back -back launches. And because the torque delivery happens at lower RPMs, you feel the pull from the second you tap the pedal. And this motor doesn't just enhance one metric, it transforms the entire driving experience. Not only is it the fastest, it's the fastest that stays fast, the most powerful that doesn't break a sweat, and the sleekest without guzzling energy. It's speed, but engineered with long game efficiency. When Tesla unveiled the carbon-wrapped motor, the rest of the EV industry didn't just take notes, they froze. Companies like Lucid, Rivian, BYD, and NIO are building impressive cars, but none have the motors that come close to this level of integration and performance. Tesla didn't just nudge the bar, it launched it into orbit. Right now, most competitors are still refining their battery systems or optimizing software, but Tesla's been playing a completely different game innovating and building in-house. More than having the best motor, it's about controlling the supply chain that makes that motor possible. From custom silicon chips to AI-driven cooling systems, Tesla's vertical integration gives it a powerful edge. Rivals depend on suppliers. Tesla is the supplier. Some analysts do wonder if Tesla will eventually license the motor tech like they did years ago with their open source patent initiative. While it's possible, it's unlikely. This isn't just a clever part, it's a strategic moat, a fortress around Tesla's long-term dominance. Just think of Apple. By controlling its chips, design, and software, it locked in a loyal user base and built insane margins. Tesla could be heading down that same path. And you better bet Wall Street has taken notice too. Some believe this breakthrough could give Tesla a five to seven year head start in motor technology. Others are a little more skeptical, saying it's all talk until Tesla can scale production and get these new motors into more models beyond the plat. But whether you see it as hype or hardware, one thing is clear. The rest of the EV world is officially on notice, because Tesla didn't just make a better motor, it may have redefined the rules of the game. The real magic of Tesla's motor is more than how it spins, it's how it thinks. Unlike most car makers who patch together components from dozens of suppliers, Tesla builds its powertrain like a symphony. The carbon-wrapped motor is just one instrument. But when it plays in sync with the 4,680 battery cells, custom AI chips, and software, you don't just get a car. You get a system that thinks faster than you can blink. Let's start with all those battery cells. These aren't just bigger batteries, they're smarter too. Their unique tableless design means less internal resistance, faster charge, and more power flowing directly to the motor. That means more range, more acceleration, and less heat. But what really elevates Tesla's edge is the AI-based thermal control system. Traditional EVs rely on dumb cooling loops. Tesla's system reads real-time data, road conditions, driving habits, and ambient temperature, and adjusts the thermal profile on the fly. It's kind of like having a pit crew inside your car, predicting problems before they even happen. And then comes the custom silicon, the brains behind the brawn. Tesla's in-house chips monitor motor behavior down to the microsecond, adjusting torque delivery in real time. You're taking a tight turn? The system predicts it and balances power across all wheels before you even finish the thought. And here's the kicker. Every piece talks to every other piece. The powertrain isn't just reacting. It's collaborating with autopilot software. It's sending and receiving signals for predictive acceleration, regenerative braking, and energy optimization. It's all happening seamlessly and invisibly. This kind of deep vertical integration means Tesla isn't just adding new parts, it's evolving like a single organism. That translates into faster innovation, tighter feedback loops, and lower costs. While competitors fight over who makes the best motor or battery, Tesla's already asking the next question. How do we get them to work together? It's spinning the gears of global dominance. 
Tesla didn't invent electric cars. But with this carbon-wrapped motor, it may have just made them universally scalable. Already, Giga Berlin, Giga Shanghai, and Giga Texas are tuning up their assembly lines to mass-produce vehicles powered by this very innovation. And the timing? Well, it's not a coincidence. Emerging markets like India and Southeast Asia, long considered too price-sensitive for high-end EVs, are now within Tesla's reach. Why? Because this motor isn't just powerful, it's efficient. With reduced cooling requirements and fewer moving parts, production costs go down. That makes premium performance suddenly affordable, even in places where Teslas were once a pipe dream. And here's the twist. Legacy automakers, some of whom laughed at Tesla a decade ago, are now eyeing this tech like it's forbidden fruit. Some may try to copy the design. Others, well, they might just license it, especially if Elon opens the gates like he did with Tesla's patents in the past. The question no one saw coming, though, is this. What if this motor isn't just a part, but a platform? A new kind of base unit for all electric transportation, from delivery vans to robo-taxis. Because when your motor runs cooler, faster, and smarter than everyone else's, you're not just building cars, you're writing the future's blueprint. But for all its brilliance, Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor isn't immune to the gritty side of reality. Let's start with the elephant in the Gigafactory. Carbon wrapping rotors at scale is a nightmare. And it's not just high tech, it's high risk. The precision needed to apply carbon fiber with exact tension without causing structural imbalance or failure at high RPMs makes this motor more of a boutique craft than a plug and play part. So the question looms, can Tesla mass produce it or will it remain a plaid only showpiece? And while Tesla was breaking the internet with sub two second acceleration, rivals were busy too. Lucid's miniaturized drive units are impressively compact. Toyota is betting big on solid-state batteries, promising faster charging and longer life. Meanwhile, Chinese EV makers, bolstered by massive government support, are flooding markets with competitively priced, increasingly advanced EVs. You might say the gap is closing pretty quickly. But you can't forget the X factor, Elon Musk. Genius, yes, but also very unpredictable. Visionary launches often come with sudden pivots, tweet storms, and changing timelines. So can Tesla stay focused long enough to actually finish what it started? And finally, a quiet but serious concern, safety regulations. I mean, do you want your grandma in a car that launches like a rocket? And when you got a car that launches like a rocket, regulators are going to start asking some rocket level questions. Could this motor, powerful as it is, bring on a new wave of recalls or legal scrutiny? For Tesla, the motor isn't the only thing running hot either. So is the pressure. No other EV maker has done what Tesla just pulled off. Not Lucid, not Rivian, not the Germans or the Japanese. In a world where electric motors have seen slow, predictable upgrades, Tesla just leapt into sci-fi territory and stuck the landing. This carbon-wrapped motor isn't just a little faster, it's smarter, it runs cooler, it talks to Tesla's AI systems in real time, and works in perfect sync with next-gen battery tech. It's as if the motor isn't just a part anymore, it's part of the brain-body system. And for years, Elon has teased alien technology. And while that always sounded like marketing sugar, this might be the closest he's come to delivering it. If Tesla can scale this, and that's still a big if, we're not just looking at faster Teslas. We're talking about revolutionizing motorsport, commercial transport, maybe even electric aircraft, and grid-scale energy systems. But there's a twist. With Elon, every breakthrough feels like a prologue, not a finale. Every time we think we've hit peak Tesla, another curveball comes flying from left field. So is this the breakthrough that changes everything, or just the opening scene of Tesla's next act? Something even weirder, faster, and more disruptive. And that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like more updates, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions for our next video. So see you in the next one.